Thank you. Right now, pro-life advocates are marching in St. Pete just one day following the massive March for Life in Washington, D.C. They're marching from Pioneer Park to City Hall. That is where we're going to find Nick Volturo live for us there this morning, where some pro-choice advocates are also marching along the route with them. Nick, good morning. Good morning, Angelina, and there is definitely a sea of pro-life advocates out here right now. Now, this march comes only two years following the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade in June of 2022. You can see a lot of them have their brought their own signs that hey, abortion is murder, pray for life. Uh, there's a sea of people flocking here over at City Hall right now. A lot of them that we talked to were, were just trying to get a message across that they want to be able to protect the child. There's been a lot of different medical advancements and a lot of different sciences that have have furthered their message. But we're also hearing from counter protesters as well, talking about a woman's right to choose. There's about a dozen counter protesters here who came out, but this has been really overshadowed by the crew who's here for March for Life. Now, Florida has made a move to put this on the ballot. They've received over 70,000 signatures to be able to get abortion on the ballot in November of 2024. Now that would require a 60% majority, which would be a super majority to be able to overturn and protect abortion rights in Florida. Now, a lot of the people that we spoke with here at this rally are very concerned about that coming up. Not sure how people will vote, but they're trying to get their message across here to make sure that people understand their point of view and share that message with everyone that came out today. For now, reporting live in St. Pete, Nick Volturo, Ted Tampa Bay. Nick, thank you. I know you'll follow that for us today. Okay.